Hello, welcome everyone. My name is Karin and this will be the start of a new tutorial where we're going to learn how to code in Java. I've made two tutorials before in Java, one for a tower defense game and one for a platforming game. But I noticed that a lot of the questions that people had were because of lack of basic Java knowledge, not so much with the game development itself. So that's why I decided to make this tutorial. We will start in this video to install the tool we need. We need something to write our code in. That's uh, where Eclipse comes in. It's a simple editor that allows us to write some code. There's a lot of different editors out there. If you prefer another one, stick with that. As long as you can write code in Java. One cool thing about Java is that it is platform independent. Meaning the code that I write on my computer, a Linux computer, will run on yours as well. Whether it's a Windows, Linux or a Mac OS. The phrase write once, run everywhere is an old saying when it comes to Java. It's mostly true, as long as you take into account about different systems when you develop your programs. It won't be something that we need to worry about though, because this is a tutorial for beginners and those problems one would typically run into when doing cross-platform development is not something that we will run into. We will use very simple and basic code to make our programs. So I'm gonna go ahead and install Eclipse in the background and while I'm doing that you might wonder why Java? What can you do with Java? Can you make games with it? And can you make apps for phones? Perhaps? Yes and yes. Ever heard of Minecraft? Probably the most famous game made in Java. You can also make apps in Java for both phones, tablets and what have you. There's a lot of things you can do with it. Java is also used a lot in the financial environment. Then there's a use case for GUI on desktop, a graphical user interface, in other words. The list can go on and on. Bottom line is, yes, Java is still in use today. It's the third most used language today, if I'm correct. And some of you might have heard of the language JavaScript. It's used on websites to get the mechanics on the site to work. And funny enough, JavaScript have nothing to do with Java besides the name. I know, it makes no sense. The makers of JavaScript wanted a name for the new language and thought, hey, Java is really popular right now. Let's name it after that. And since JavaScript was a script language and Java were popping off at the time, they decided on the name JavaScript. And now our installation should be done. And we can go ahead and test if everything works as it should. Follow along and we'll get into what is what later. We just need to make sure that the installation worked. First we can just close down this welcome screen and then we can close down the donate unless you want to donate. But before we do anything I want to change it into dark mode, it's way too bright for my taste. So I'm just gonna go to window, preferences and I'm gonna search for dark mode, it's gonna be in appearance, change the, change the theme to dark and then just apply. And you might need to restart it and that's okay. All right, so I switched back to my Linux computer. The footage you saw of me installing Eclipse was actually taken more than a year ago. So it might look a little bit different. That's okay, it's just some tiny difference in appearance at most. And then of course I'm using Linux here, so yeah. But we are going to just check if we can get a printout to our console. And Java requires us to create a project and then create a class and then we type out the code we want so that we can have our tests to see if everything works. So first you can ignore those two, those two projects here. Uh, we're going to simply go file, new, a Java project and we can call this Karin's tutorial, tutorial, no spaces. Here we have something called module we will never get into it. It's for security reasons and trying to keep... When a project gets very big, you can use a module uh, to make sure that different packages and stuff doesn't communicate if they're not supposed to. It's more advanced stuff. We don't need it. Let's just untab it or unclick it. Uh, looks right, looks right. Yeah, it looks good. So, finish. And uh, we can open up our project here by double clicking. If for some reason you have managed to, I don't know, not have the, uh, the package explorer or you're missing some type of view, all you do is that you go to a window, show view, and here you have the most common ones. And I of course removed my package explorer, so I just click it 
and it's back. I can move it around if I want by just left clicking and moving around. Nothing too complicated here. So let's go back to my uh, project, Cardinals Tutorial, left clicking on source. We create a new class and a class in Java is the file where all the code is in. So you can have as many classes as you want, but if you want to run some code, you put it inside a class, a file, and that file is then run as a Java program, if you will. And we can just call it first lesson um, or yeah, first lesson. And you can click in this public static void. We can either click it here or we can type it out when we have the class ready and finish. And now we have our public class called first lesson. We have a method here that we'll get into what a method is, but we just want to see if it worked. And in the next episode, we can talk about what everything here is. So just remove that and type out system dot out dot print line or LN and finish it off like so. And we're going to type out welcome to a new tutorial. And this is now something that's going to be printed out to our console. And if it does that, we know everything is working as it should. So let's uh, make sure this one is highlighted, the first lesson.java. Then we click this green button that says run first lesson.java. Uh, always say resources before launch. Yeah, that um, sounds good. Okay. And we have a console that popped up that says welcome to a new tutorial. And it might look something like this for you. All you do is just drag and drop and now you have it at the bottom. So now we know it's working. So that was the first lesson just to make sure that everything works. And in the next lesson, we're going to talk about what this all means. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you tune in to the next episode as well. Cheers.